Welcome to Stories for Kids by Lingo Kids, where we discover fascinating facts about the world around us and the fun of play learning. Today is part one of a very special series all about the Olympic Games. The Lingo Kids friends have traveled to France. They are visiting Cowie's Grand Mère, that's French for grandmother, in a small town near Paris called Auxerre. Everyone is very excited because one of the biggest sporting events in the world is about to take place in Paris, the 2024 Olympic Games. Let's join Lisa, Billy, Elliot, and Cowie at a special festival in Auxerre. Come on! Or as they say in France, allons-y! Grand-mère! Grand-mère! Bonjour! Bonjour, Cowie. Come, come. I saved you a spot. It will be here any minute. <laughs> Is everyone here? I think so. Let me check. Lisa? Present! Elliot? Here! Billy? Jean-Pierre? Wait, where's Jean-Pierre? Ah, Jean-Pierre. Who's Jean-Pierre? My big cousin, Jean-Pierre, lives here. And he loves the Olympics, just like me. Oui, he is probably hanging off a rock. That boy is always climbing something. Jean-Pierre is a rock climber. <laughs> Billy says rock climbing is in the Olympics this year. Well, he better get here soon or he'll miss it. Yeah. Wait, miss what? The Olympic torch that came through Auxerre on the way to Paris. Oh. Billy says the torch will visit 400 spots all over France on the way to the Olympic Games. 400 spots? But why? What actually is the Olympic torch? Elliot, the Olympic torch is what starts the whole Olympic Games. It's a fire. Ooh. Yep, and it's on a fancy metal stick. That's right, Lisa. The Olympic torch is used to light the cauldron at the opening ceremony. Ooh. Oh! But I don't get it. What does a fancy fire stick have to do with the Olympics? I thought the Olympics was about gymnastics. Oh, yeah. And basketball and volleyball and swimming and so, so many sports. You are right. The Olympic Games are definitely about sports, but also about teamwork and about different people coming together from all around the world to share their love of sports. The Olympic torch relay is about working together as a team. Billy says that more than 10,000 people take turns to carry the Olympic torch all over France on its way to Paris. That's why it is called a relay. They pass the torch to each other. You mean they share it? That's a good way to think about it, Cowie. They share the honor of carrying the torch through France on its way to the Olympics. Wow, I wish I could carry the Olympic torch. I would hold it high over my head like this. Maybe you will someday, Lisa. The torchbearers are chosen for being great athletes or for being people that help their communities, or both. Well, I hope this Olympic torch comes soon. My tummy is rumbling. Here, mon chéri, I have a baguette you can share with your friends while we wait. Thank you, but I don't need a bag. I just need a snack. Elliot, a baguette is a kind of French bread. I think you'll like it. Oh, thank you, Grand Mare. That baguette is so long and thin, like a torch. It's giving me an Olympic idea. What? what? Maybe we should do our own relay to share the baguette. Yeah. yeah. OK, everybody, spread out. Get ready for the newest Olympic sport, the Baguette Relay! On your mark, get set! First, a big bite for me. That is delicious. Elliot, come on! I'm over here! Run over with that baguette! Coming, Lisa. Here you go. Got it! Mm, mm, mm.
<laughs> we did it! Go team! Grand Mare, is the torch almost here? What's taking so long? I'm not sure, Shelly. <laughs> Billy says the torch takes 68 days to get to the Olympics. Oh no! I think I'm gonna need more than a baguette. I know, it should be here already. Look! I see someone running down the road fast! Ooh, ooh! I see him too! It must be the torchbearer! Let me see. Oh! He's almost here! Watch for the handoff! Look for the fancy fire stick! I don't see it. Me neither! Nadia, the torch! It's missing! But where is it? Who is it? The torch bearer says it disappeared <gasps> while he slept. <gasps> oh, this is terrible. Oh no! What happened to it? Maybe he lost it. Sometimes I forget where I put my stuffy, but then I find it. Billy says maybe someone took it by accident. Maybe they thought it was a big flashlight. Or maybe, maybe someone stole it. That has to be it. The torch was stolen. I know. Billy says we need the torch to start the Olympic Games. Then we have to find it. We have to save the Olympics. We, oui, we, oui. but how? <laughs> Billy says we should use teamwork, just like the Olympic athletes do. Billy's right. If we work together, we can figure it out. I just know it. Okay, team, we better get started if we want to solve this mystery. Mystery? What mystery? The mystery of the missing torch. Oh, I love mysteries. They're so mysterious. Billy says we should start by looking for clues. Great idea. Let's go look for clues. Alonsi! Today, the Lingo Kids friends learned that the Olympic torch has been traveling all around France on its way to Paris to start the Olympic Games. But just when they were about to see it for themselves, they found out the torch had been stolen. Join us next time as the Lingo Kids friends search for clues to find the missing torch and save the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. Hey, did you enjoy the video? There's a whole lot more to explore in the Lingo Kids universe, like songs and nursery rhymes to sing along to, cartoons with your favorite characters, games to practice your reflexes, and podcasts that amaze and inspire. Let's play learn. Are you ready for the next learning adventure? Lingo Kids, play today, learn for life.